is think positive. All these negative people around you. How do you navigate your way out of this toxicity? How do you navigate yourself out of this situation where everybody thinks you're crazy? Because you have to go through that phase. If you wanna rise above everybody else, you have to be crazy. You are what you think about most of the time. But see, the hard thing is when you're going through hard times, it's hard to see the other side. It's almost impossible. It's almost impossible. You have to put some sort of blind faith in it that you have no idea if it will work. But you have to believe because that's all you fucking have is your belief. And the more you think about the person you wanna become, the more you think about the positive outcome, the best possible scenario, the more you align yourself with it and the sooner it will become. But the longer you spend thinking on the negatives, the longer you will see those negatives. I keep seeing the same things pop up in my life. Chapters repeating, characters repeating, situations repeating. It's like life just keeps throwing me the same fucking challenges. I'm going through some hard times right now. I'm going through some fucking hard times. I'm so mentally exhausted. I'm so mentally exhausted. And I can't help but keep it real with you guys. I can't help but keep it real. I don't want to be a sad sack of shit, but I can't help but keep it real. And I'm going through hard times right now. And I can't think about the fucking positives. I can't even envision where I want to be or who I want to become. I can barely envision it. I got to really sit and think with it. I was sitting here for just an hour meditating. And I came to this realization. And I couldn't even see the person that I wanted to be. Where do I want to be? But the thing is, you will never become that person. You will never achieve that perfect outcome if you can't even fucking visualize it. Because there's no way in hell you're going to stumble upon it. There's no way. So how do you pull yourself out of the lowest points? You know, for me right now, I'm not happy with a lot of shit that's going on. Yeah, I, a couple of my an Instagram posts took off. I signed a couple new clients and I don't want to be a sad sack of shit. But it's like you get that little spike, that little adrenaline boost, and then it pulls you back down to earth. It was like I was almost better before that post took off because there was less stress. And it was almost like I accepted defeat. And then as soon as I accepted defeat, the, 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 the truth and the answer started coming to me. And then that little glimpse of faith, and then you fucking lose it. In my opinion, all the answers, all the answers come when you are at your lowest. When you are at the rock fucking bottom. I told you guys I've hit rock bottom. I'm thinking, I feel like I'm headed there again. I'm just keeping it real. All the answers are in the darkest spots because when you're in the darkest spots, it forces you to focus intensely because all you can do is be present. 
All you can do is fucking fight. When you're running that long ass run, when you're doing a hundred fucking burpees at a time, and you're on number fucking 67, your heart is jumping. And you can't even think about doing another one, let alone another another 33. When life is throwing you so much shit, when it's coming from every angle, and it's just those small inconveniences piling up, it's not the one big inconvenience, it's all the little ones. It's, it's your stomach growling. It's that back pain. It's, it's not having your fridge stock, but you don't have a car, so you can't go and drive to the grocery store. So you gotta ride your bike there, but you gotta send out a hundred DMs. You gotta work on your business. You gotta work on your craft. You got other shit to do, to attend to. So you gotta go without eating. It's when you don't have money to pay for a haircut. So you so you just grow your shit out. And most days you don't care, but it's that one day. That one day where you're looking at yourself in the mirror and you're not proud of yourself. You're looking at yourself and you're like, how did I get here? And you know what the way out is, but you can't you can't even visualize it. You wonder why you don't have any motivation towards it. All these little inconveniences. You know what? You know what the thing that gets at me the most right now is? It's not that I'm that I'm that I'm unable, you know, it's not it's not even the back pain. It's not the money. It's one of the things that's really getting to me now. It's not even it's not even that I can't fathom the fucking courage to approach a woman that I because I know my energy won't be right it's, it's when I walk into the gym and I can't even greet the fucking lady at the front desk I can't even tell myself to say hello I just put my head down and act like I don't see her once in a while I say hello but the majority of the time I put my fucking head down act like I don't see her I put my fucking head down in the gym Act like I don't see anybody. I see everybody. I see everything that's going on. I can feel it. I can feel it with all five senses. I can smell it. I can hear it. All this negative shit going on in my life. But all you can do is think positive. All these negative people around you. How do you navigate your way out of this toxicity? How do you navigate yourself out of the situation where everybody thinks you're crazy? Because you have to go through that phase. If you want to rise above everybody else, you have to be crazy. You have to be a tamed crazy. How do you make it out of that? You gotta visualize. And in order to visualize, you have to be at rock bottom. You have to be completely present. You gotta be fighting every single day. You know, I think back to when I overdosed and I was just fighting. I don't I don't really remember it, but I know that I was that I was not breathing. I remember like being conscious, awake somewhat. But I remember I was walking home and my legs just stopped working. I just did a twirl. My friend picked me up, carried me. And I remember later that night, he's slapping me. He's slapping me and it's like, I feel every slap and I'm like, trying to say stop, but I can't. I remember he's dragging me up the stairs. My ass fucking hitting every single seat on the stairs. I don't remember much after that. I remember like being in the car or some shit. I 
I was fighting. I was fighting for that breath. I was fighting just to stay alive. Fighting with all my fucking might. Just like when you're doing a set of burpees and you're fighting for those, for those reps. That's when it forces you to think the hardest. That's when it forces you to visualize. Life will force you to visualize. But one thing somebody told me recently is that if I want to keep my viewers, I got to get them to actually apply this information and have it work in their life. But see, the majority of you won't ever fucking apply this. The majority of you will do mental masturbation to it. But you watching this, I want you to visualize with me all five senses, all six senses. The sixth sense is energy, it is vibration. If you close your eyes, you can literally see little waves. I know I sound crazy. I want you to visualize with me who that person is for you. Who are you in that perfect world? And we're literally going to do it right now. If you don't want to do this, get the fuck off the video. But if you're watching this far, my guess is you are my former self. You are the same as me. And I want you to visualize with me right now. <laughs> All five senses. Where are you in the future? Where are you? Everything is perfect. What do you look like? What do you smell like? What is around you? What does it sound like? Visualize everything with me right now. Let's go. That's the only way you're gonna make it out of this shit. That's the only fucking way. We got motherfuckers blowing the leaf blower outside. We got white girls talking out my fucking window. got my back pain. We, we, let me stop talking about myself. Everything is going on around you 
and you gotta be able to focus. You have to focus. And it takes the hardest times to create the most focused men. When all the vibration around you is going everywhere, you have to learn to remain completely still. You have to become an immovable object. Once you become that, nothing can stop you. The people calling you crazy, the chaos on around you, nothing can stop you. You may think I'm crazy for making a video like this, but if that's you, you probably wouldn't be watching this far. So just drop it, drop your fucking ego. We have to focus. You have to breathe. That was me. That was me when I was fighting for my fucking life, breathing. And that's why I live every day in my life. Or I strive to live with 100% intensity. And the only reason I will feel down on myself, the only reason I will feel down on my situation is because I did not put 100% intensity into the day. Only I know, only you know when you go to bed, whether you put 100% intensity 100% intensity does not mean driving your fucking head into the wall. 100% intensity means you focused with all your effort. You visualized. You didn't dwell on right now. You envision that perfect outcome and you think about it every second of every single day. Because that's the only thing that's going to keep you still. Because in that perfect outcome, you are completely still. Nothing can change you, right? Why would you want to be in a situation where you are easily swayed? Nothing can fucking stop you. The only thing that's going to stop you is yourself. When you go to bed at night and your thoughts start to drift, you can't control where your thoughts start to drift. Otherwise, you will fall asleep. So you have to fucking give in in order to fall asleep. You have to fucking give in. That's why nobody could understand. Nobody in my life could understand the way I think. If any of them are watching this video, I know they think I'm crazy. That's why I separated myself from all those people. <laughs> Fellas, manifestation is real. Manifestation is real. We think about things too literally. You think about things too literally. You think about everything surface level. But you keep noticing the same people, the same challenges coming up in your life and you think, why? Why God, me? It's because you haven't fully aligned yourself once you fully align yourself, nothing can stop you. Once you fully align yourself, you will notice the abundance of the universe. Once you fully align yourself, everything starts to fall into place. 
We look at, we look at small picture all the time. As men, we look at small picture. We don't look at these next level things. We don't look at energy. My, con my content has completely changed. I used to talk about all surface level shit. Women, money, fitness. You will never really excel in any of those areas if your energy is not correct. To fix your energy, you have to solve the root problem. And only you can answer what that is. Only you know what that is. But we've taken ourselves so far away from it through the actions of our day-to-day -day lives that we lose touch with it. But you still know what it is. You still know what it is. You just never take the time to focus on it. My content has completely changed. I know those types of videos got more views because more people can resonate with it. More people can understand it. Not a lot of people are going to stick around for 21 minutes where three of them, we were just breathing. Completely silent. Not a lot of people. <laughs> but you stuck this far. Why can't you stick in this forever? Because that's going to be the only determining factor that you stick in it. You stick in it. You stick in the fight. You can't lose. I promise you that. If you need some inspiration, look towards me. I'm going through shit right now. I'm not going to lie. Life is testing me every single day. And I know at the end of the day, I didn't give 100% intensity. I didn't. But I'm going to get back up. I'm going to get it the next day. I'm going to get closer. And I'm going to get closer. And eventually something's going to click. And I don't give a fuck about anything else. I don't give a fuck about any of the outside noise. I'm, I'm more, I'm slowly quieting myself to all the outside noise. All the people who I used to know are like crickets to me now. All that I'm listening to is everything internally because that'll be the only thing that stops me. That'll be the only thing that stops you. That's it, I've been talking long enough. I hope you appreciate this video. The thing is, the majority of guys can't stay still. They can't sit in the pain. They can't. I believe majority of guys in a life or, in a life or death scenario would crap out. I really do believe that. The vast majority of them. I really believe I'm sticking in this. I got God by my side and that's all you can fucking ask for. That's it.